Uh, guys, Mike here from Comp3 Interactive. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at something relatively simple, but it looks really good in my opinion in any sort of game. And that is a little area label indicator. And what I mean by that is, depending on what room you're in, that label will change. Now this makes it really easy for multiplayer games to let other people playing with you know which room or which area you're actually in. And it's a really simple function. This tutorial will not take long and it can be used for any amount of rooms inside of your game. Now, as you can see, I have a map laid out. We have a yellow, red, green and dark room. And we also have this center room, which is our main hub. And the asset pack that I've used for this is one by Dead End LMZ on itch. I'll put a link to that in the description. It's really, really well done for a free asset. Cheers, bud. But before we start making this, I just want to thank Gigatank3000 for sponsoring this video. I've got his links down in the description below. Make sure you go and check him out on Twitter, give him a follow, check out his website, and keep up to date on all the latest updates of his upcoming game. And I also just want to thank everybody over on Patreon for supporting me. You guys are fantastic. Okay, so let's just jump into the game and we'll see what we're playing with here. So I've just got this pink cube as a player. The camera follows and I've got some basic keyboard inputs. But what I want, whenever I enter this red room for example, I want this area label text to say red room. Come back into the main hub, that should say main hub, then green room and so on. So how do we go about doing this? Well, depending on how your game is currently set up, there's multiple ways that you could go about doing this. If you have a 3D game, for example, and all the rooms are their own individual object, then this would be slightly different. I'd go, I'll go through that, though, after we've got the main bulk of the tutorial out of the way. This way is going to be doing this kind of 2D top-down tile map view. So the rooms aren't actually individual objects. They're all one object. So we're going to have to do it slightly differently. So the first thing we're going to want to do, I've already got this environment game object, which is just my tile map. It's got everything on the map underneath it. I'm going to go ahead and create a new game object, and I'm going to call this Room Bounds. And inside of Room Bounds, I'm going to create another empty game object for each of my rooms. So this one will be Main Hub. Duplicate that four more times. And we've got a red room, green room, yellow room, and dark room. And I'm just going to pull these over the respective rooms, like so. Now, all we need to do is, on each of these room bounds game objects, we're going to add a trigger collider. So we'll start with the main hub. We'll add component and add a box collider 2D. Zoom in here and then we can edit the bones using this button right here. And all we're going to do, we're just going to stretch this out to match the bones of our main hub. Now this doesn't need to be absolutely perfect. And as long as you're covering all of the entrances and exits into that room, that's perfectly fine. Then we can go on to the red room and do exactly the same. And all we need to do, we just need to rinse and repeat that process for each of our rooms. So I'm just going to speed this up while I do the other three. And there we go. So if I zoom out, you'll be able to see, I think, these little green outlines, which are the bounds for each of our rooms. And the final thing we want to do with all these colliders is make sure that they're set to trigger. So I'm just going to select all of the room bounds game objects and select is trigger right here. And now we need a script that actually tells these boundaries what to do. So let's add a new C sharp script. I'm going to call this area control and we'll open it up in Visual Studio. And it's going to be a really simple script. We don't need the two system namespaces, but we are going to be using Text Mesh Pro. Next, we'll get rid of the start and update, and we'll add in two variables. And they're going to be two public variables, and it's going to be a text mesh pro UGUI, and that's going to be our area label. And finally, a public string for our area's name. And then all we need to do in here 
is create an on trigger enter 2D method and we'll check if the collision.compare tag is player. So if our player has entered this trigger area, all we need to do is set area label dot text equal to area name. And that's it for the script anyway. And then all we need to do is select all of our room objects, drag in area control, and then drag in our area label from our UI into the area label section. Then for each one individually, we'll go through and give each one an area name. So our main hub will be main hub, red room, red room. The last thing to do is make sure that our player is tagged as player. We have a box collider and a rigid body on our player already. Hit play and we should see this working immediately. And we do, we're in the main hub. If we move around, we can go to the dark room, changes to dark room, yellow room, back to main hub every time we leave one of these rooms, red room, and then finally, green room. So I told you it was gonna be really simple. Yeah, it just adds a little bit of extra detail to your UI, to your games, makes them look slightly more professional in my opinion. Obviously this may not be useful for every game, but for games such as Call of Duty and the Call of Duty Zombies for example, each room has its own name and it makes callouts quite a lot easier. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, if you have give us a like, give us a follow, subscribe, all that YouTuber stuff, <laughs> and I'll see you again next week. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more bites as Unity hints and tips.